So the JJK community is still trying to settle down between the opening moments of the fight between Sukuna and Kashimo, but with that being said, I did want to delve into another very pressing matter, and that is the fight between Uraume and Hakari. I do understand why not a lot of people are kind of delving into this. Obviously, the bigger kind of fight going on right now is the one with Kashimo, but I did want to talk about this and why this fight actually might be a lot closer than a lot of people may be leading on to. A lot of people seem to be kind of giving into the fact that Hakari is maybe going to blow out Uraume, or Uraume isn't going to really be that much of a uh, of a strong fight between Hakari, but I did want to mention the fact that there is this kind of weighing thing in Jujutsu Kaisen where styles kind of make fights. Those that watch these things like the UFC or MMA in general do understand that certain people are just easier at beating certain other people and maybe they would have a hard time against others, and I feel like this is going to be the case in this fight with Hakari versus Uraume. I guess to start off this video, I did want to get into just exactly who Uraume is based on the information we currently have in the story and why their style of fighting is kind of a bad matchup for Hakari and how he fights. What I feel like readers do have to remember is the fact that Uraume has been kind of walking the earth as long as somebody like Kenjaku has, so they obviously have just that much experience, over almost a thousand years worth of experience, maybe even longer. You know, they have really been around since the time that Tsukuna was around in his full powered state, and obviously, you know, being alive that long, you do have a greater knowledge of Jujutsu than somebody like Hakari, who has only been really practicing it for maybe a couple years, maybe a little bit longer, but you know, he's young, he's somebody that doesn't necessarily know the deaths of Jujutsu just as much as somebody like Uraume would, you know, somebody hailing from that time. Speaking of time periods though, Uraume obviously being the kind of right hand person to Tsukuna, you know, somebody that's been around just as long as he has, and somebody from that era of the strongest when Jujutsu was at its height and everybody was just so broken, so OP and so powerful. They're not going to be a pushover. You're talking about somebody that is the right hand of Sukuna, somebody that Sukuna, you know, tolerates, which there's not a lot of people in the series that you can say Sukuna even tolerates or lets be around him that much. And this is somebody that does, somebody that is from that time period of just the strongest where everybody was just super powerful, super broken, and there wasn't really anybody that is weak. You're talking about somebody with just that many accolades alone going up against Hakari. It's not going to very much end well just off of accolades alone and just the time period that they're in. The only other person that we've seen kind of hail from that time period specifically was Yorozu and we can already see how strong they were and this is somebody that's the right hand of Sukuna so they're obviously going to be just as strong as Yorozu if not stronger and Yorozu was no pushover that was somebody that was honestly almost at the pinnacle even I feel like of the Heian era you know the era that Sukuna comes from that was the era of many strong sorcerers. The other thing that I did want to bring up is just the sort of abilities of Uraume, and obviously this is ice-based abilities, and why do I bring this up specifically as a sort of direct counter to Hakari? Well, Hakari's domain kind of operates on a time limit, so obviously when he hits that jackpot, he has about 4 minutes and 11 seconds, I'm pretty sure it was, to kind of do whatever he wants to. He has infinite cursed energy, it seems. He can just keep healing himself, you know, he can just keep fighting, keep going on, and this is honestly a very strong domain. There's no questions, no denying it. This is a a very honestly broken domain and just with how lucky he is how he just keeps getting it over and over this is honestly broken and this would pose a lot of problems for Uraume but you have to remember that the fact that they use ice and just the fact that we don't really know the complete depths of their ability we don't know how exactly how far this can go you know what you know domain they have what other abilities they have we haven't really seen a lot from Uraume but from what we have seen they are very strong you can even look back to when they actually had froze Yuji, and Yuji genuinely thought that he was a goner right there. He genuinely thought that he was going to be deceased. He thought that things were over at that point. And this is Yuji that was uh, still very strong. He wasn't obviously after the Colin games where he has gotten stronger. This is obviously still Yuji though, and he was honestly ready to give up at that point. And this is against Uraume. So this ice ability by all means seems to genuinely stop you right in your tracks and force you to not be able to move. For how long, we exactly don't know, but that's kind of what's scary going into this fight. We just don't know too much about their abilities, but we do know the fact that they're able to stop Hakari right in his tracks is a big direct counter to him, and I honestly don't know how Hakari is going to kind of get past this since his domain is already on a time limit, and if somebody's kind of stopping you in place, you know, wasting your time, making you stay there, it poses a very big problem to Hakari, and it seems like Uraume might just have free reign over him in those time periods where he is possibly frozen. Delving a bit more into the ability aspect of 
Uraume though, I do wonder exactly what their domain will be and whether or not their domain will be one that doesn't necessarily need a barrier in order to be achieved and obviously we know that Sukuna is able to do this, he does have that domain with his cleave and dismantle that doesn't need a sort of barrier to exist in the world, but we also do know that Kenjaku has the same exact thing. His barrier kind of outwardly expresses itself onto the world without needing a sort of casing to exist outwardly on the world, but honestly I feel like the argument can be said that maybe Uroume's barrier, or domain I mean, will actually be the same exact way where they don't necessarily need an actual barrier to achieve it. And I feel like just in the fact that they have been around as long as Sukuna, as long as Kenjaku, and obviously they're just going to be very knowledgeable about cursed energy and fighting in general, we do have to remember that this is the same person that was ready to jump in to fight Gojo, and obviously they did kind of get washed, Gojo completely, you know, knocked them out, but it's just the fact that they were confident enough to even jump into there with the dude and not a lot of people in the series can even say that. And honestly, if I'm speaking frankly, I am kind of scared for Hakari going into this. It's just there's so many unknowns that we have with Uraume. We just don't know anything about the person. And they're kind of jumping right into this domain with Hakari. And Hakari obviously is very confident. He does have a very strong domain. And he should be rightfully confident in the fact that he could defeat a lot of very strong people. But I feel like Uraume is just a very bad matchup for him. I feel like this is not a fight that he kind of should have jumped right into after Gojo got defeated. I feel like he should have, you know, maybe fought somebody else or or kind of had somebody else take on Uraume instead of him, but it just isn't really looking good for him. And honestly, just in the idea that he does have a domain that is kind of random chance, it just it's very scary anytime he fights because obviously Gege can just write in the fact that he just didn't get lucky at that time and that can possibly spell the end of Akari. And I feel like even without his domain, you know, if he did kind of lose that role, he would be very strong even then. But it's just that there's just so many unknowns. He does depend on his domain a lot, especially in this fight. I feel like he would definitely need his domain to kind of outlast Uraume and if that fails, if Gege just writes in that you know he didn't get lucky at that point, it's going to spell a lot of doom for Hakari going into the fight, but honestly we're just going to have to kind of see where things go, but it's just Hakari's kind of skill set going into this is just the fact that he does have a pseudo immortality going into it whenever he gets lucky and you know just a lot of cursed energy, he's able to kind of overwhelm his enemies, but with against somebody like Uraume where maybe they're kind of playing more patient, they have long range options, they don't necessarily have to be right in the mix with Akari and they can honestly just literally slow him down kind of you know break him apart pick him off from the outside and go in for the kill maybe when Hakari gets unlucky maybe when Hakari gets tired you know Hakari gets a very grievous wound and he isn't able to heal it because he didn't get lucky you know whatever the case is I feel like this is just such a bad matchup for him going into the fight and I feel like a lot of people should be way more concerned for Hakari going into this than anybody else since honestly he is somebody I feel like Gege would kind of have the easiest time just riding out of these story through death and I feel like this is something that he probably might do going into this fight we just don't know at this point Gege doesn't pull their punches when it comes to killing off a person in the series so we should be very scared for Hakari going into this but with that being said let me know what you guys think in the comment section will Hakari be able to win against Uraume or is this just too much of a high level fight for him I honestly think this is just way too much I feel like it should have been somebody else kind of taking them on taking on Uraume in the time being until they can maybe you know regroup and fight Tsukuna if Kashimo can't kind of get the job done so I feel like there was better ways to go about the fight with Uraume and Kakari probably kind of bit off more than he can chew but let me know in the comment section down below also like the video if you liked it and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys for sticking around and watching my videos thank you for watching and I'm out peace